This is for uh, Basin 79 really. Um, I caught my sand spider doing what your one was doing up in its toes. Uh, obviously I've moved him now so been, he's been disturbed but <clears throat> I'm just going to try something out. I'm going to put a cricket in there to see if he's really hungry. I mean I know if they're hungry they bury themselves under the sand. But I just want to see how aggressive the spider attacks the cricket. They're normally ambush predators, so they hide themselves under the sand and wait for the prey. But when he's standing like that, up and with his toes, could be hungry. The abdomen looks very plump though, so it might not have been that. I think it would be more interesting if he didn't take down the cricket. Maybe then he's stretching and getting ready to molt. Because obviously your normal tarantula or even spider, true spiders, they need water and they need humidity. Uh, otherwise they can get problems molting, as you know. But with, with these spiders, they need it almost bone dry um, they can survive up to a year without food and water which is amazing really so maybe they have a different technique of molting maybe they get ready by stretching so just bit the cricket you see that So we just take the cricket in. They really aren't aggressive, are they? But it's like as if they know. One bite, and you're dead. So I bit him again. And I've read that these don't need a lot of food, but this one eats for England. Have been so plump. It's got to be ready for molting soon, but oh, just keeps eating. Although he says he seems to kill the cricket, carries it around in his jaws for a bit, uh, eats what he can, and just leaves the rest of the cricket in the corner. But not so when it's on its toes, it looked hungry, just standing there. It looked hungry, you know. Again, this is a, another different sort of a attack. I read that they can detect the size of the prey when they're hiding under the sand. So when their predator, when the predator walks over them, literally. 
they can obviously determine the size of the prey, whether they choose to go for it or not. And apparently they've, only, they've actually got two methods of attack, bite and release, and bite and hold. I should imagine the bite and release method is obviously if, a, if they're very hungry, not had food for a while, and a prey was pretty big that they normally go for. Bite and release, they know their venom, and by releasing, they know that the prey can't can't injure them in any way, and they have, they can't get away very far until the the venom starts doing its thing. Oh, this is definitely not a bite and release. So this is a. I've got you, and that's it. Well. I look like much more as we'll be going on for a little while yet and I've got to go to work so it's a short video alright okay thanks for watching